Aloha. We're Pearl Harbor Yacht Club, and we have a long history of sailing here in Hawaii. What started as a fashionable association for Oahu's well-to-do in the Roaring Twenties has grown into today's club, which offers recreational sailing, competitive racing, learning clinics, and social activities for members of the military, Department of Defense civilians, and the community at large. Founded in 1924 by leading sailors and businessmen in the then territory of Hawaii, Pearl Harbor Yacht Club was described by the Honolulu Star Bulletin as a place to be and the place to be seen, whether one happened to own a yacht or not. The clubhouse was a colonial-style manse situated on five acres on the Pearl City Peninsula, overlooking Middle Lock in the sugarcane fields of Waipahu. Huge ensign flags hung from the house as women in white hats and long dresses and men in suits and straw hats lounged on the veranda and dined out of doors on linen tablecloths. The club's star-class yachts sailed the waters of Pearl Harbor, racing to the ocean and back around Ford Island. The pre-war club was a place for Hawaii's leading families and members of the Big Five commercial and plantation companies. They included Walter F. Dillingham, who built the first dry dock at Pearl Harbor and later the Alawai Canal to drain Waikiki, Walter F. Freer, appointed a circuit judge by Queen Lilio Kalani and later appointed by President Theodore Roosevelt to be third governor of the territory of Hawaii, Clarence H. Cook, an heir to the Castle and Cook fortune and president of the Bank of Hawaii. Also, James Dole, pioneer of the pineapple industry in Hawaii. Pearl Harbor Yacht Club was also a magnet for local and national celebrities in those heady days of the late 1920s and through the 1930s. Hollywood luminaries Carol Lombard and William Powell were guests of the club when they honeymooned on Oahu in July of 1931. In 1934, Duke Kahanamoko, who was also a Pearl Harbor Yacht Club member, competed with past Commodore Harold Dillingham aboard the yacht Manuiva to finish first in the Transpac race. The following year, Lieutenant Colonel, later General, George Patton sailed his boat Arcturus from California to Pearl Harbor and joined the club prior to reporting to an assignment at Fort Shafter. Finally, child movie star Shirley Temple was made an honorary Commodore of the club during a visit to the island in February 1938. However, the storm clouds of World War II began to form above Oahu on May 31, 1939, when President Franklin Roosevelt closed Pearl Harbor to civilian access. Club members gained special permission from the Naval District Commandant to continue sailing in the harbor, perhaps in no small measure to the banquet they held in his honor later that week. But the writing was on the wall, and in October of 1941, because of tightening naval regulations, the club decided to build a temporary boathouse on the Alawai Canal in Waikiki. Unknown to club members at the time, their last race was held on Sunday, November 23rd. Two weeks later, on Sunday, December 7th, the next scheduled race was never held. Members living on the Pearl City Peninsula ran for the hills above Pearl Harbor and watched the Japanese attack unfold, some staying away for days. In the months that followed, most homes on the peninsula were seized by the Navy and the club's buildings were taken over by a patrol torpedo boat squadron. During the war, the clubhouse served as a recreational base for the PT boat sailors, but was forgotten and torn down after the conflict was over. Today, the foundations can still be seen, lying quietly beneath a fig tree, while the old pier crumbles slowly into the waters of the middle lock. Following the war, former club members moved to the more accessible Alawai and formed the new Waikiki Yacht Club. For several years, they held an annual Maritime Day regatta back to Pearl Harbor in May. They also visited the new Navy Recreation Facility on Kehi Lagoon. It was there that Pearl Harbor Yacht Club was reorganized in the late 1950s as a military sailing club, complete with a new burgee and new clubhouse. The Maritime Day Regatta evolved into the annual Easter Invitational in 1964, which Pearl Harbor Yacht Club hosted for the next 38 years. When the Honolulu Airport's reef runway began construction over the lagoon in 1973, the club had to move, but finally returned to the waters of Pearl Harbor at the newly constructed Rainbow Bay Marina. 
In 1975, the club was glimpsed on national TV during the Season 8 opener for the original Hawaii Five-0 series, as boats with Pearl Harbor Yacht Club Burgies sailed behind Commander Steve McGarrett, played by actor Jack Lord. A new clubhouse was established at Rainbow Bay in 1977, and the club flourished for the next two decades with active social events and dinner parties. But then came the events of September 11, 2001, which brought all sailing and club activities to a halt for more than a year. Yet the club survived and evolved, just as it did after December 7th, and continues to operate today. Each year, Pearl Harbor Yacht Club hosts a series of races, regattas, classes, clinics, and social events, an advantage of the year-round sailing we enjoy here in Hawaii. We build on the Navy's morale, welfare, and recreation sailing classes, and provide a continuing and entertaining education for sailors of all experience levels. Some of our highlights include clinics on racing, emergencies under sail, and spinnaker handling, classes on safe boating, coastal navigation, and coastal cruising, certified by the Coast Guard Auxiliary or American Sailing Association, and taught in the sailing classroom at Rainbow Bay, hosting youth and wahine regattas at Rainbow Bay, which are part of the yearly calendar of sailing events under the Hawaii Yacht Racing Association, qualification sessions on Catalina 18s, Club 420s, lasers, Weta Trimaran, and El Toro sailboats, these boats expand on what basic sailors learn in the Rhodes 19 and add an extra dimension to the sailing experience. Competition with other yacht clubs and regattas around Oahu to include the prestigious Lipton Cup, given by tea magnate Sir Thomas Lipton himself in 1930 to Pearl Harbor Yacht Club, whose original burgee still graces the sterling silver filigree of this historic trophy. And of course social events, including sails to the sandbar on Kaneohe Bay and wine tasting, keeping with the elegant spirit of our namesake. Experienced sailors, novice sailors, and non-sailors are all welcome to meet others with an interest in sailing and knowledge of the local yachting community. So come, join us any Thursday afternoon for our weekly sunset sails on Rainbow Bay. We are Pearl Harbor Yacht Club, and we hope to see you out sailing.